Oh, this Saturday morning, um, about to get up and do some things. But apparently there's Trayvon Martin marches, protests in over 100 cities. Folks, just go home. Just go home. It It's pointless. It, it really shows your inability to accept the verdict. And you're only making yourself look foolish. You're only looking, making yourself look like the spoiled child in the room that didn't get his way. And this is what I see with a lot of these protesters. You know, what is your goal? What is your goal? You got to ask yourself when you protest. That needs to be an initiative. And there's got to be action Okay, and there's got to be result. What is the result you want to happen? If it's peace, then you need to get, then, then black people need to march every damn day. Because somebody last night, some black man, some black male, some black teen died last night at the hands of another black male or black adult or black um, teen. That's fact. Where's the where's the protest for those individuals? And to you guys, Reverend Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, I remember Jesse Jackson saying if he was walking somewhere at night and turned around and saw a white person, he'd be so relieved. Something to that effect. Now he's grandstanding, now he's capitalizing off race baiting, off a bunch of ignorant black people in America who want to make this case into race, who can't fathom the idea that somebody was just so concerned about their community, that being George Zimmerman, and he saw someone who was roaming around, which Trayvon Martin didn't go straight home, which he should have, and he questioned him. Trayvon Martin got aggressive, Punk Zimmerman got shot in the heart, the end. He goes to, goes to trial, Zimmerman is acquitted of all charges, case closed. That's it, folks. Nothing else is going to change. You're becoming, to, you're becoming the whiny children of America, black America. Many of you are out here protesting, spending your Saturdays protesting, why you can be out with your families, why you can be taking your sons and daughters and showing them how to be productive citizens in this country, showing them how to be cordial, showing them how to be respectful, showing them how to be compassionate and understanding, not to be whiny, um, uh, just whiny and, and point the blame at others. That's what you're teaching them. Because you have no result. We saw this with Genesis 6. When black people, same ilk, Reverend Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson went down to Jenna, Louisiana over some nonsense. Come to find out that these black kids beat up some white kids because supposedly they, they hung up a noose or something like that. And I've spoken about this, how, about, how people know how to get under black folks' skin. People know how to rile up black people. You just throw the N-word out and they start this going off. You hang up a news somewhere, black folks start going off. How about you stop going off? The best way to get over on an igniter or an instigator is to ignore them. See, black people, you fuel this fire along with your leaders. Reverend Al Sharpton, Reverend Jesse Jackson. They know how to incite you too. If you just stop and ignore these idiotic knee-jerk reaction, people will stop doing it. But long as you are freaking complaining, whining about how everybody's against you, then people are gonna play into it. Just like the video with those two white guys came over with nigger on their shirt. You know, I read the shirt, it was, it, it was just something, they weren't calling black people niggers. They were just saying, they knew they could go out there and incite something because they know how overly emotional black people are and how they just rile up and can be corralled. You can be, you can just serenade most black Americans in, the, in, the, in America. And that's just the reality. 
So go home. You're not going to boycott Florida. This is just, I've spoken about how black folks can just, they're good at sprinting. They're good at sprinting. They come out, the blocks, chest up, legs pumping. But after a while, they die out. And when, when you're not stood, when, when you're not standing on a firm foundation, which most of these protesters are not, you give up. Because there's no real substance to what you're protesting about. There's no real substance. You're whining. You're whining about the justice system, which you think indiscriminately targets blacks. Listen, I'm not scared of white guys in hoods. Black, black folks have surpassed more than quadruple fold than any KKK has killed uh, of black people in this country. 9,000 black men are killed every year in America at the hands of other black men. Go look it up. I'm not going to spoon feed you, so don't ask me for any type of reference or fact or statistic we have this thing called Google nowadays, Bing. Uh, you can even go to Yahoo search and find these statistics. Go look it up. So if you think I should go out there and march for some kid who got shot in the chest for not using his noodle, you're sadly mistaken. I'm not doing that. Peace.